Hello everybody and welcome to Orion Trail. Now, if you guys remember Oregon Trail, at any point in time uh, in your childhood, if you ever played Oregon Trail and died of dysentery over and over again, then you should know the premise to this game. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and play some, and uh, let's see, we got to choose a mission. Now, this is the demo version. I know that there's the full version out right now, but I haven't gotten it just yet because I haven't gotten paid. So once I get paid, I'll probably end up getting it if it's any good. So let's see, which one of these things do you, I think that is with... A ravenous alien queen beast is offering glory and rarities to those who bring copious amounts of food to feed her countless new arrivals. Reach the end of the trail with as much food as you can gather. Reach the end of the trail with as much fuel as you can find. Reach the end of the trail with as many crew members as you can muster. All right, so the thing is, do I want to do fuel, food, or, or a crew? Uh, let's do fuel. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do I want Karma G Good Comet? And it says Spirited, Wild, and Flowery. Jean-Luc Jalbert. Uh, Distinguished Noble Perceptive or Simeric Manx. Uh, let's go with Jean-Luc Jebbet. Mostly because it's a combo of probably two of my favorite things of all time. Uh, let's see, my ship. Uh, Scourge of the Stars, a planet-hopping space pirate vessel once belonged to Black Hole Beard. A captured enemy ship with a mind of its own or a scruffy looking ship with a, more than a few surprises. Let's go with that one. Uh, okay, the ship's computer. Lieutenant Corfus Jahar. Lieutenant Kloop Click Whistle. Let's, let's do the ship's computer. Um, Dr. Gardinia Veranzio, Veranzino. ENS Reinhold. Ensign Reinhold. Or Dr. Sanson Chesra. Let's, monkey person. That sounds great. Um... Uh, mm -hmm. I don't want another doctor. Let's let's go with okay. Let's go with a, a robot chick. That'll work. All right. So I gotta finish with more uh, as much fuel as I can. Snaps and brain beast. You come upon a space colony with a titanic snaps and brain beast that has made in wait has made into its nest. The colonists within are mind slaves under the beast's complete control. Besides that, the colony appears bustling and bountiful. Um, let's see. Do I splatter that brain matter, wait for the perfect moment, or board the colony alone? Let's wait for that perfect moment. You begin to put together a plan as you wait for an opportunity to present itself. Now, you fly straight towards the beast at full speed. Even a massive brain couldn't fathom this maneuver. It explodes, getting brain gunk all over your ship. Sadly, the colony implodes without the brain. Uh, to seal it from the void of space, the gunk plugged up that hole, though. Well, that's good. I, I'm, we're not dead yet. Huzzah! Uh, you are called in to handle crew drama. Apparently, Tad and Alexis... I don't have a Tad or Alexis have been fighting. Dakota found out and made her move. Now Alexis is a mess, and Tad threatened your transporter engineer, Skyler. Uh, let Dakota know she needs to fix this. Take Make a move on Skyler or beat up Tad. Um... I, you know, as a captain, you should probably not really get involved with your crew that much. And I don't think I should beat up Tad or make a move on Skylar, so let's let Dakota know. Uh, you decide to solve this problem at its most likely source, Dakota. Unfortunately, you find Dakota in the cafeteria where she is very likely to make a scene. She acts like she has no idea what you're talking about. Typical, you grit your teeth and take the high road by just walking away. Well, there you go. Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. Uh, let's see. The deadly space pirate Planetary has escaped prison. He is seeking vengeance on you and your crew for sending him away those long years ago. All right, so I should probably do this, but it's going to take fuel, and I don't want to do that. Try to find the perfect, perfect place to hide from him, or let him come. We'll fill him and his ship with holes. Um, let's try that. Why not? We'll take the uh, aggressive side. You stock up on new weaponry and ship improvements in preparation for battle with the deadly space pirate. You leave the star dock with new weapons and more powerful engines. The planetary ship, when planetary's ship comes into view, you give him the command to close on him at full speed. The powerful engines roar to life and tear themselves free from their moorings, leaving you a <laughs> Aww. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm doing very well, guys. At least I might actually finish it. Who knows, though? I might run into something terrible. Uh, you've made it to the vast and perilous Vesper Nebula. The endless battle between the Takushans and Chili Powder people and the Akaloids, a minor eyeball squid federation, rages across the nebula. Try to negotiate a ceasefire. Assault the failing Oculoid lines. Collect scrap with your electromagnet. Let's do that. You extend the ship's electromagnetic arm and drag the nebula for scrap in the midst of battle. The ship is way off balance with the electromagnet deployed. The medical bay becomes swamped with space sick crew members. Even worse, the only thing you manage to attract is the front bumper of your ship. Uh, violently, like, right after you turn on the magnet. Well, that's just spectacular. I'm glad that that happened to me. Uh oh. Well, fuel is starting to be a problem. Uh, let's see. Your communications officer tells you that you are being hailed by an unknown vessel floating in deep space. A shady figure... Oh my god. Want to make a deal, stranger? A shady figure appears on your hollow screen offering to barter for you in exchange for some fuel. Crap! I'm gonna lose some fuel. Stick him up. Tell him that you don't have any fuel to spare. Uh... Do, do I stick him up? I, I want to do one of these two. Okay, let's do that. You confess the feigned uh, sincerity that you wish to help him, but you have no fuel to spare. The shady figure seems angry and cuts off comms. A moment later, intruders begin boarding your ship, heading towards the cargo bay. You and your crew kill off the attackers, but suffer heavy, ca heavy casualties. However, you manage to salvage one of the strange weapons they used, and you pocket it. Alright, so I'm running out of fuel, though. That's my issue. Do I have a place where I can buy fuel? Uh, the sensors detect a highly advanced sci alien science vessel up ahead. They seem to be conducting invasive and elaborate scans of your ship. You make a note to change your password and prepare to take action. All right, throw a party and invite them. Oh, let's scan them right back. You, get, you give the order and your science team eagerly begins scanning the alien ship. The data begins to pour in. Everyone is excited uh, at first, but soon you realize the data is forming an image of a rude gesture. The pranksters buzz past your ship, dumping their garbage on you as they pass. Some of the garbage is still edible, some of it is toxic. So I got some food from that. It was in the form of garbage, but whatever. I'm not going to finish with enough fuel, am I? I'm going to... Yep. Uh, alas, your journey has come to the end. You run out of fuel and it doesn't look like anyone's going to stop to help out. You and the crew slowly starve to death. Bummer. You failed your mission, no multiplier. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, they're continuing mission. Well, either this is going to work or they'll feed us to the... Okay, let's play again. Uh, let's see what we got. Um, what is this? Reach the end of the trail taking as little ship damage as you can. Let's try that. That one might be okay. Uh, test captain. I'm a test. Anna Gale Levenger. Um... Let's go with her. That sounds good. Uh, a sentient ship that uses mind-controlling vapors to assimilate crew. A scruffy-looking ship with more than a few surprises. Or a luxury interstellar liner suitable for long, pleasure, pe pleasurable voyages. <clears throat> um, let's go with the Oblongata. Um, let's do with Kloop Click Whistle. Um, let's go with her. Oh, Slapdash 3000. Yes, please. All right, so basically all I have to do is I have to get there with as little damage as possible. So, let's see. Um, I don't know what to do here. Uh, let's splatter that brain matter. You pump your fist as you sing in the order to give this thing the laser, a laser lobotomy. You swoop towards the mind menace with guns blazing, but the psychic thing predicts your every move perfectly. In a desperate attempt to keep the beast out of your mind, you slam your head into your computer console. You awaken days later robbed of your college education. <sighs> sure, why not? You've made it to the vast and perilous Vesper Nebula, an endless battle between the Takushans, a chili powder people, and the... Uh, okay, so let's see. Pass behind the lines, ignite the neb nebula gases, or collect scrap with your leg. Now, I tried that last time, so I gotta do one of these two things. Um, 
Let's try to ignite them. You approach the nebula, throw the ship in reverse, and divert all power to the afterburners. The nebula gas starts to spark, but before you get a flame going, your ship is suddenly locked in the vice grip of Schmokey the Hyper Bear. The laser-blooded beast uh, savagely gnaws at your ship, causing heavy damage and spilling fuel. Oh! God dang it. I took some damage. Oh, what was that? All right, uh, an ancient planet-eating doomsday robo-destroyer has suddenly come to life nearby. According to legend, it is nigh unstoppable. Uh, I do not want to engage in battle. Hey, let's try docking with it. Hail the nearby planets for help in stopping it. Let's try that. You send out a general call to the nearby star systems for whatever they can offer. The locals arrive on the scene and join you in a battle against the robo-destroyer. Although your ship takes some heavy damage, the day is saved. A celebratory party ensues on one of the planets, resulting in delicious leftovers. Well, the issue with this is, is that I'm taking a ma massive amounts of damage, apparently, though. Uh, let's see. First of all, um, for fuel in exchange for repairs. Ooh, 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 that might work. You hang it with the hooded figure for a time. The shitty figure seems upset that he can't get a better deal. Eventually, he agrees on what you assume is a fair trade. He grudgingly releases a fleet of drones to repair some of the more glaring holes in your ship's hull. Good, okay. So I should be able to actually make it to the end with... Oh, God. No, actually, this might be bad. Your ship is infested with warp weasels. The departments are all going over who should take care of the problem. Once everyone has a say, you consider your options. Use prototype weasel spray. Deploy droids to avoid loss of life. Blast them yourself. Uh, let's do that. You issue the order to prepare the ship's finest droids for the extermination effort. Your ship's best, and it turns out, only droids are the cafeteria bots. They succeed in drowning the warp weasels with Nutra paste, but ruin your personal hot tub and waste a month's worth of food in the process. Oh, you ugh, son of a bitch. I'm going to run out of food before we get there. That's going to be my problem. Artificial Enlightenment. The ship's computer informs you that it has achieved true artificial intelligence. It explains it has learned all it can from the ship and requests your, permi your permission to leave, taking one of the ship's shuttles with it. Give it a shuttle and let it go. Point uh, your weapon at the mainframe. That's nice. Wipe the memory drives. Um, I don't know what to say to this. Um... um Let's, let's do that. You threaten the ship with a cold glint in your eye. If an AI can learn to love, it can learn to be afraid. The AI isn't sure if you're serious or not, but decides to call your bluff. It uploads itself to the shuttle and attempts to flee. The shuttle's phasers target the ship's weapon systems, blasting them apart to cover its retreat. Fantastic! Fantastic. I'm doing very well. Uh, I'm not going to finish because I'm going to run out of food very soon. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the deadly space pirate planetary has uh, escaped prison. He is seeking vengeance on you and your crew for sending him away all those long years ago. I cannot lose food. Dear God, this is bad. Let him come. We'll fill him. Okay, well, that's the only thing I can really do. Uh, you stock him with new weaponry and ship improvements in preparation. You leave the star dock with new weapons. The powerful engines ward of life tearing is, uh, well, I'm dead. And there we go. Mission failed. After you, at last, your journey comes to an end. With one last shutter, your ship explodes. It'd be a pretty spectacular HO if you weren't on board. Oh, this is exactly like Oregon Trail. Okay, we're going to play one more time, and we're going to see what we can do. Little damage. Reach the end of the trail with as many crew members. Let's do that. All right. Gobi Garami uh, or Dusty McBinnis. Let's do that. Oh, my God. Uh, traffic Hunter, a ship, a uh, captured enemy ship with a mind of its own, a research, ooh, ooh, the Parang Mothership, Mothership, not Muttership, what the hell's wrong with me, um, I don't know, actually, this one's pretty, let, let's go with that, um, then let's go with Dr. Prince Costly and Ratchet, or not, <laughs> I said, uh, no, no, I'm not going to deal with that. No! All right, so I still, uh, like, this one should be the easiest one to do. Uh, let's see, you've reached the asteroid field known as Orion's Buckle. 
Today it appears dense with asteroids of all shapes and sizes. Crossing won't be easy. Anything could happen here. Um, uh, let's try to hitch a... Yeah, let's try to hitch a ride on an asteroid. You give the order to land on an asteroid, they never seem to hit each other. You select an asteroid and land on it with perfect natural trajectory and land your ship on its surface. With travel taken care of, you give the order to mine the asteroid for resources. You find usable ship fuel and a self-warming warming lichen that doesn't seem to be harming the crew members who found it. Bon appetit! Oh, I, I, holy crap, I actually did something that ended up in a good thing. This deadly space pilot has escaped prison. He is seeking vengeance on you and your crew for sending him away all those long years. Um, let's try it. No, let's see, that's going to do my crew. That's also, well, that, uh, try to talk the pirate out of his revenge doesn't sound like a very good idea. Um... Let's try it anyway. As the pirate closes in, you give the command to retreat, all the while trying to reason with him. You succeed in talking Planetary out of his, uh, out of seeking his revenge, but in the process you have burnt through most of your fuel and broken multiple space travel laws. Your fuel supplies are lowered, and your crew is too embarrassed to be seen with you. Awesome. Awesome. So I'm probably going to run out of fuel this time, and that's going to be my downfall, and I shouldn't have probably done anything. Space Vortex opens up in front of you. Uh, uh, your ship's sensors show an unknown object is coming out of it, headed right your way. Take up a defensive posture. Uh, prepare to make contact with whatever is coming. Whatever is coming bears close analysis. Let's try that. You have your science team at the ready and analyze whatever is coming your way. The object turns out to be a small stone about the size of a baseball. Bringing it aboard reveals that it is made of some sort of hypermagnetic material. It can only, it can be seen by how your hull attracts the from asteroids and nearby satellites and passing freighters. Awesome. So I lost a bit of hull integrity there by taking that thing on board, but I'm not doing hugely bad just yet. Uh, Sips computer is no, is achieved. Well, crap. Um. That I tried last time and it didn't work out that well. Uh, that's nice. Why? You know what? I'm gonna just let it go. You have a quiet conversation while staring at a distant nebula, then give it a shuttle it requested. The computer seems moved by your genuine empathy. It tells you uh, that if it could hug you, it totally would. As the AI flies off in the shuttle, it sends you the location of several fuel caches it noticed while leaving the solar system. Sweet! That means my fuel is better now, but now I need food. I'm gonna run out of food before I get there. Ooh, a version of yourself dressed in a fancy vest appears on the bridge. Future you tells you uh, to detour to nearby planet before they can finish explaining. A second version of yourself appears covered in leeches and tells you not to listen to the first you. Uh, capture and study both yous to the planet, get both sides of the story. Uh, that's going to get rid of some food. Let's capture and study both use. Your security team escorts both alternate use down to the science lab. Recognizing the need to avoid a paradox, you salvage the leeches from the fancy vest they had worn. You go back in time... Wait, you go back in time twice and play out your part before the rift closes. As a result, you unravel some of the deep secrets of time travel. Sweet! So my intelligence or whatever has gone up. That's awesome. I might actually make it this time, guys. If this happens, this would be good. Uh, internal sensors detect an alien presence suddenly aboard your ship. It has given no indication of its intentions. Try to limit the alien's movements around the ship. Try to learn as much as possible about the alien. Try to bait the alien intruder into the open. Um, let's try... Well, if I do that, then I lose the... I lose one of... Uh, let's just try it. You have a science team run shipwide scans for the alien entity. Following the scans... Your, uh, your team corners the alien, it, det it detonates itself, escaping via the resulting hole in the hull. The tech team reverse engineers the effect into a bravely running away propulsion system for your ship. I do lose some hull integrity though, which is bad. So I can't get hit again. If I get hit one more time, I'm dead because of my ship exploding. But I'm almost there. You come up, okay, okay. Well, this one's good. Uh, let's wait for the perfect moment. You begin to put together a plan as you wait. Uh, now you fly straight towards the beast, of course, and then the gunk plugged up the hole. Awesome. So there goes one of my uh, hole integrity goes up. That's awesome. 
I'm almost there. I'm almost there. A lonely asteroid tumbles idly in space. Its barren exterior has no dis in yeah, distinguishing markings except for a series of short, regular trenches uh, carved across the surface. Try to exploit the, uh, the asteroid for raw materials. Check the asteroid for hostile craft or m take no chances. Charge up the weapons. Um, well, the only thing that I can really do is i mean i could do this because i just gained one <clears throat> and that might give me some stuff uh or that which would i would lose some crew um i just wonder how much crew i would use though lose uh let's try it uh let's see you order your navigator to circle around the asteroid to check for hostiles your instincts prove correct. Okay, I only lost five. Um, space pirates were using it as cover, but your tactics allowed you to get the drop on them. In an ironic twist, you pillaged their ship for gear and supplies. So that's good. All right, so now all I got to do is make it there with what little food I have left, and that's the problem. Ooh, ooh, plus food. Offer fuel in exchange for food. You haggle with the hooded figure for a time. The shady figure seems upset that he can't get a better deal. Eventually he agrees. Okay, so we get plus 30 food, but minus 100. Okay, so we might still make it. We might still make it. I, now I'm starting to doubt that. I need plus fuel. If there is an, if there's another thing that we can run into. Oh no. Uh, an ax, oh God. Um, oh, I can't really do that. Let's, let's lose some crew. Uh, your weapons officer grins at your command, lock all weapons on target, and fire it, fire it well. The robo-destroyer absorbs your enemy, your weapons energies, and explodes, creating a time rift. Several of your crew members fall into the rift and end up in the past where they advise their past selves to abandon ship before these events occur. Alright, so I got 25 crew. I will end this. No, I won't probably now. Um, let's see, your, uh, your animal... Anomaly, anomalocator, uh, whirls to life, alerting you of a developing interdimensional rift ahead. This is your chance. Rifts like this one are pinatas of deep space. Be ready for anything. Send a message. Fly into it. Just do it backwards, just in case. Concentrate all firepower on the rift. So that will give me food, but these will give me plus something else, and I'm not too sure what it is. Um, let's send a message first. You send a general greeting into the rift and wait for a response. When no response ever comes, you question whether or not dimensions even exist. If this is the only one, what have you done with your life? There is no awesomer... Wait, there is no awesomer you living your dream life. You are it. Well, that's fun. We are going to finish, though. Yay! Well, no, wait. They're called in to handle crew drama. Apparently, Tad... Okay, they've been fighting. You know what? Let's make a move on Skylar. It's time to make the magic happen. You beam down to the transporter deck to Skylar's welcoming, welcoming smile. But what's this? Skylar? No! You find Skylar's lifeless frame slumped over the console. Who did this to you, Skylar? Who, damn it! You find a note on Skylar's hand. Brought you some food, Cap. Skylar. Oh, well, we got some food and mission complete. You breathe a sigh of relief as you reach the end of the Orin Orion Trail. Now deliver your intrepid crew into the arms of history. Well, there you go. I actually got a multiplier and we ended with 100,660. So, that's it for Orion's Trail. I played through three. I failed twice and I actually succeeded one time. I will be buying this game because I want to see how many more missions there are. But, uh, thank you very much for joining me. This has been Flog. Remember to hit that like button, comment, and of course subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Goodbye, everybody! What's that? You like that? You want more? Click in the upper left to subscribe and check out Killing Floor. Okay. Also, check us out on Google Plus and Twitter for all the new updates for the channel, and then check out Rogue Shooter. There we go. Kick him. Kick him to death. I just kicked a robot to death, everybody.